They lie in boot hills all through the West. The outlaws, the gunslingers, the Billy the Kids, and worse. Say a fellow like the coward that shot Bill Hickok in the back. There's always one like that in every time of history. Most of them were varmints. But every once in a while, in one of them, there may have lived a man. He lay face down on the desert sand, clutching a six-gun in his hand. Shot from behind, I thought he was dead, for under his heart was an ounce of lead. But a spark still burned, so I used my knife, and late that night, I saved the life of Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. I nursed him till the danger passed. The days went by, he mended fast. And then from dawn till setting sun, he practiced with that deadly gun. And hour on hour, I watched in awe. No human being could match the draw of Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. One day we rode the mountain crest. And I went east, and he went west. I took to law and wore a star, while he spread terror near and far. With lead and blood he gained such fame all through the west, they feared the name of Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. I knew someday I'd face the test, which one of us would be the best. And sure enough, the word came down that he was holed up in the town. I left the posse out in the street, and I went in alone. To meet Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. I'm just going to jump in now because this is absolutely incredible storytelling. Um, thank you for joining me as we check out Lawn Green with Ringo. This is absolutely wonderful. It's I just I'm glad it's an audio version because I'm almost picturing the scene myself and I have been transported back to those old western movies. But right now I've got tumbleweed rolling, dusty roads, little small towns, saloons, people flying out of windows, gunfights, that outlaws, sheriffs. I, I, I'm picturing all of it because he is kind of painting this wonderful, wonderful picture and I love the steady rhythm of the music in the background it, it almost feels kind of a, li a little bit like horse riding you know just the footsteps of horses the, w the way they kind of it flows and it's so steady and predictable and it doesn't feel like it's going to change but it's like a horse it's kind of carrying it's carrying everything through and it's it's just absolutely it's absolutely brilliant and i love his voice the storytelling behind it it kind of feels like the music it's the, it's the type of music that you know, you know, all new country music stands on the shoulders of. It's it's fantastic. It really, really is. And whether you are a fan of country music or not, you've got to be impressed by the storytelling of it. It's it's wonderful, and I'm keen to get back to it. So I'm going to knock it back a fraction. Let's see this one through to the end. And sure enough, the word came down that he was holed up in the town. I left the posse out in the street, and I went in alone to meet Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. They said my speed was next to none, but my lightning draw had just begun. When I heard a blast that stung my wrist, the gun went flying from my fist, and I was looking down the bore of the deadly 44 of Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. They say that was the only time that anyone had seen him smile. He slowly lowered his gun and then he said to me, we're even friend. And so at last I understood that there was still a spark of good in Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. I blocked the path of his retreat. He turned and stepped into the street. A dozen guns spit fire and lead. A moment later, he lay dead. The town began to shout and cheer. Nowhere was there shed a tear for Ringo. Ringo. The story spread throughout the land that I had beaten Ringo's hand. 
And it was just the years, they say, that made me put my guns away. But on his grave, they can't explain the tarnished star above the name of Ringo. Okay, everybody, that was Lawn Green with Ringo and phew, absolute wonderful storytelling. Absolutely brilliant from the start. All I had through my head was just, honestly, it, it felt like a movie, you know, in, in, in three minutes. It was the whole storyline to a film and it had been an incredible film as well. I mean, I was I was just picturing all of it in my head as we were going through. And I think that is sometimes just the joy of an of an acoustic sort of sorry, of an audio song like this, is that you get to make up the video. And yeah, I had a great time with that one. That was just absolutely fantastic. Just the way he painted that picture. Wonderful. Absolutely well sorry, I thought somebody crept up behind me then. Um yeah, absolutely just incredible. Just like I said, I mentioned earlier, I love that steady rhythm that was that was going all the way through the song. Almost kind of like you know, horse footsteps. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, and the character he was singing about he became invested in and yeah, absolute just prime prime storytelling and I don't know if it has a bit of a timeless quality about it. It's it's one of those things that we just we you just don't find this authenticity in today's music. I don't think we'll ever really hear songs like this again. And 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 that's sad really because like I say it's incredible music and songs where a waves telling stories and we've lost that. We, we they, they don't do that anymore. It it's just terrible um, but sometimes it's just absolutely great to come back to something like this and like I mentioned earlier this this is the, the type of music the songs that today's country music stands on the shoulders of and whether it'll ever reach these sort of heights of, of storytelling and you know catchy tunes and whether it'll ever reach that again I don't know some people think it peaked in the 90s, some people think it peaked before that, some people think it'll never reach those levels again. Some people love today's country music. It's it's just, it appeals to everybody, and that's what I love about it. And yeah, it's there's, I, I am yet to go in a direction within country music that I haven't enjoyed. And I don't think there's any other genre of music like it. And yeah, I can't wait to continue. But... When it comes to Long Green, I don't know where we go next. I will leave that to you. So if you have your favourites, get them down in the comment section and I cannot wait to check them out. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, possibly quite a, a wonderful trip down memory lane for you. Uh, if it is, please let me know what it t the times it takes you back to, what it makes you think of. And yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to come on the rest of the journey. I will also leave a link at the end of the video to the country music journey so far. Coming close to nearly 500 videos in there. So make sure you take a deep dive into that. Watch them all if you want to. Uh, but there's bound to be something in there for you. I hope you enjoy it. If not, just hit like. It really helps the channel grow. But until then, and until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.